Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all having a lovely day. So today I would like to point out a really amazing YouTube comment that I read that almost made me spit out my drink. So over the past few days, if you've been watching my channel, you probably noticed that I've been taking pot shots at a company called Future Motion. Future Motion makes a $2,000 portable electric vehicle called the One Wheel. It's kind of like a skateboard, except it has one wheel and a motor in it, and you can use it to get around. And they have decided to start making the newer models a little bit differently than the older models. On the older models, you, the owner and the user of that $2,000 device could replace the battery yourself as the battery is a wear item. On the newer items, if you unplug the battery, it will actually brick the board. Even if you put a new OEM battery in, you will need to send it back to the manufacturer for them to unbrick it. It's a way of ensuring that they are the only one that can service their device, and they are doing that as a company that literally only has one service center in the United States that is supposed to service the entire world. It's absolutely and utterly ridiculous, and I talked about that in this video. Now, in the follow-up video, I responded to their claims that the reason that they are doing this is because they prioritize customer safety. They really care about customer safety above all else. Never mind the fact that the newer models of the One Wheel, unlike the older models of the One Wheel, are far more likely to ghost. Ghosting is when the device goes when you don't want it to go, which is not exactly what you want out of any type of electric vehicle. So there's one comment on YouTube that I found absolutely hysterical and I can't help but share with all of you. I'm gonna scroll here and see if I can find what the guy said. Give me one second. I should be editing this. Here we go. So it says, you encourage what happens at 34 seconds, but won't let us buy parts to repair our own boards or replace our batteries because it's unsafe. It has 34 upvotes and somebody responded with, for effing real man, messed up. So let's see what it is that they're doing at 34 seconds in. So this guy is on a motorized electric vehicle that has one wheel and he is doing a handstand riding in the middle of the street. He's doing a handstand riding an electric vehicle in the middle of the street. And to be clear, I have absolutely no problem with him doing this. I don't care. I've taken on some risky behavior myself from time to time. It's part of what adds to the spice of life as long as you are not endangering other people with your behavior or what you choose to do with your device. That being said, if you're claiming that what you really care about is customer safety, then why is it that on a YouTube channel with almost 90,000 subscribers, you are doing a headstand on an electric vehicle and then riding it down the street? There are many manufacturers that care about safety that go out of their way to never advertise their product being used in an unsafe way and blah de blah de blah and at the end of the day, I'm going to do something that I typically hate when it's done to me and I hope you'll allow me to make this exception here and answer my own question. The reason that they are willing to do this over here is to make the product look cool because that will allow it to sell better because they don't give two shits of a fuck about safety, nor did they ever. What they care about is selling more product. What they care about are selling expensive repair services. And above all, what they care about is that when your old one stops working rather than fix it, you buy a new one. As I said, this has always been about control and about money. It was never about safety. And the fact that they uploaded this piece of garbage video with this dude doing the handstand pretty much a day after they put out a bunch of PR nonsense claiming that the entire reason that you're not able to replace your own battery on a device that you'd spend $2,000 on that you own is really just a slap in the face. It's a test. It's a shit test. They want to see how much you'll put up with. They want to see just how stupid you are. And one of the ways that you could demonstrate that you are not as stupid as they think you are is by not purchasing their products ever again. Only buy them used on the used market so that they do not make money and utilize any sort of used parts vendor or independent repair shop or companies like JW Electronics to get around any of the nonsense that they put out so that you never have to directly give them money if you wish to enjoy their products. Many people are wondering, why do people buy this product if the company acts like assholes? And they do have certain patents. I believe some of them don't expire until 2035. So if you want this type of product, you really are limited in certain, certain ways in, when it comes to the company that you could choose to buy it from. What I am hoping is that if people just starve the beast and stop giving them money, you never know. Maybe a company that's not run by assholes will buy them out or buy out all the patents and all that. And then this device and this design can live on with designers and business owners that d just fundamentally understand how to treat their customers properly and not act like a company run by schmucks. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
Am I being petty by pointing out that it's hypocritical that a company that does not allow you to maintain the most expensive and most important wear part in your $2,000 device that does not actually care about safety if they are posting videos of this? Or do you think that I am correct and that this is completely hypocritical and that this is all about control and money and selling more units and selling more care services and has nothing to do with safety at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something and I hope you never, ever, ever give money to Future Motion for this one wheel piece of shit. See you in the next video. Bye now.